Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Pickle Designs. Today I have an unboxing and quick earring tutorial for you for the Softflex design kit for, I think this is for TGBE. Um, so yeah, the Great Bead Extravaganza, Midsummer Market, July 19th, 19th through 21st. So they've already opened it on their channel, so I'm going to open it on ours. We're going to go into the bead mix as well as the strand here and the kit. So if you'd like to see what's inside, then just keep on watching. First up, we have Softlex Turquoise 0.019 medium beading wire, and I love this color. It's definitely one of their top sellers, if I were to guess, and it goes with a lot of cool things. This this one's called Just Peachy, but as you can see, they've brought in this turquoise light blue color um, to go with the peachy theme. So I haven't seen this color combination so far this year that I can remember in a bead box, so it's a nice little breath of fresh air. Next up is 22 gauge, a rose gold silver plated craft wire. And I love this color in their craft wire. So that's really cool that they um, put a whole roll here. And look at those colors together. It just really matches the whole theme. Next we get our gold filled crimp tubes here. Always love to put those with, with the rest of the crimp tubes that I have. I've got a good, bag going and I go through them a lot so I still have some left over from each bag that I um, get and I just add it to my stash. I actually got lucky I got an extra ear wire in mine normally there's just two pair but I did get five normally you will get four but these are gold plated ear wires and like I said these are one of my favorites one of my favorite ear wires out there they're affordable and they look nice. I also have a gold plated lobster claw clasp here matches the ear wires. We also have two of these 25 millimeter gold plated chandelier collectors and these are so cute. I don't think I'm gonna do anything unique with these because I saw what Kristen Fagan made on the Softlex channel and I just kind of wanted to copy that and make it <laughs> because they were so cool. But I think that's what I'm gonna use mine for. We have some Czech glass peach pearlized ovals here and this is such a unique color. They're very small, but they're definitely like, I don't know, like a taupe with like a golden greenish shimmer. It's kind of like those, um, those hearts that we got in the other kit. It's kind of like that same finish. And so, yeah, this, this is a very unique color. Here's one of the standouts of the box and these are Czech glass peridot orange clear stripe ovals and you get a bunch of these and these just look like little candies or something to me they're just very cute and I'm gonna use these on those earrings so I'm gonna link uh Kristen's tutorial down below for those earrings in case you haven't seen it but they look really cool next up a shape I've never seen before these are Czech glass turquoise slashed gumdrops that is a mouthful but they're chunky beads here and they're a very unique shape. I would imagine these are like an older cut because I just you just don't see them. But they're they're really cool. Next we have some turquoise check glass squiggle saucers. Now that's hard for my mouth to say, squiggle saucers, but here they are. And they are super cute. It's more of like a silk, like a turquoise silk. There's definitely some dimension in there, as well as texture. So those are really cool. Then we have this um, Just Peachy Crystal and Pearl mix, and this is chock full of beads. I remember with Rainy Day, they had like a big old bag of crystals as well. And so here's our mix. I'm gonna go ahead and sort it, and we'll see what we got. All right, so this is a pretty even little mix here. We have 10 of the butterflies in different colors here. Different finishes, different colors. I don't think we have, well, I have one pair it looks like. So these are all like pretty much multi-colors. Then we have 10 flowers here. Again, some mixed finishes. The finishes do kind of mirror the butterflies. This one's really cool. It's like got that glow from within. 
kind of feel. And then as you can see down here, we have pretty much an even mix of pearls. So they've got like a five or six millimeter pearl here. And then some blue crystals, really pretty blue. We've got an AB opal almost. And then, then a peachy peachy. It's really cool. All right, you ready for the best part? There she is. Okay, so here's what came in the design kit. We still have two things to go through. So take a look at this delicious little palette here and we will visit her later. But let's go ahead and get into, into the strand and the bead mix. All right, so I'm gonna zoom you in on the, the bead strand here. I'm not gonna take it apart but we've got a round, we've got a rhinestone um, round bead. We've got this really cool zigzag spacer, a really cool finish on this um, tri-cut looking bead here, a really cool spacer that's a two-sided bead cap, a beaded bead, we've got a heart, we've got another, we've got two cage beads here, we've got a, a big stack in the middle there, just some flowers, some baby, glass flowers and then a bicone and then we got some rose gold bead caps and another flower and these look just really cool there's two tones of gold here the focal crystal here in the peach and then it just repeats on the other side all in all a really really pretty strand when i saw it on the website i just had to get it um i think just because this this little color combination is just pretty fresh right now um so i really liked it all right, here's our bead mix, and I'm gonna get to sorting. All right, so here's what we got in our mix, and I gotta say, I am really loving the addition of the orange. Specifically, I wouldn't think orange would go well with the peachy because it's like so similar But I'm really loving that true orange pop here as well as the yellow. So let's just go ahead and look at these beads We've got some barrel beads here and like a light pink with an AB Get four of those you get two focal coin beads in that really peach just AB you get, you get some like melons and I'm pretty sure there's two tones here, but they're so similar that my, I don't know if it's just the way that the bead is or what, but it, I feel like there's two tones here. I don't actually know. Tell me what you think in the comments. That's what my eyes are seeing, but I can't, it's like so close. I just don't know. We've got some, some matte um, barrels here. Those are really cool. We've got some bead caps and a really pleasant gold tone. We've got these really cool orange crystals with an AB. We've got some matte rounds and a light pink, a light rose. We've got two peachy tassels. I'm loving these little bicones here. These are like a matte metallic copper and I think that's a fantastic addition. We've got some of those squiggly spacers that we saw in the bead strand. We've got some rhinestone ball beads in gold we've got some feathers in like a champagne gold maybe slightly rose gold um these really cool these are heavy metal beads here we've got some baby blue crystal cubes with an ab on them we've got a brushed um metallic gold bead here a flat coin we've got the really bright yellow beads We've got some blue flower, almost bead caps. Um, and these matte crackle, those are just so luxurious looking. I love those. If I could buy a whole strand of those, I would. I would get these in every single color if I could. But here is our bead mix. And doesn't it look amazing? I swear that pop of orange that pop of orange makes this bead mix. 
Okay, y'all, well, it looks like I have my work cut out for me. There's an enormous amount of beads on my mat here. So let me get the creative juices flowing and we'll just make a simple little pair of earrings um, just to start you off for inspiration. And I'll let you go. All right, so we're gonna make a really quick pair of earrings here. I just got about four inches of soft flex. That's way more than you'll need, but I wanted to use some of that turquoise in this earring. And I just love the finished product. I already, I've already done one. So um, I'm just gonna use one of the crimp tubes here and I'm gonna use the Magical Crimper. If you haven't used these before and you're finding it uh, difficult to not mangle your, uh, your um, crimp tube, I found that not squeezing all the way when at first kind of helps, like you just kind of ease into it and it's like more of an even squeeze around creates a better little bead here. So if you can see that, we're gonna go ahead and clip off the excess and we're gonna make a little stack. And I brought this, um, one of the crystal focals, the peachy ones. I'm gonna take one of these blue like melons, stack it up. I'm gonna put another crimp tube on there. And this is just super easy. I'm gonna feed this all the way through. I like doing this sometimes with soft flex if I'm making like a head pin, so to speak, or I guess in this case it would be an eye pin, right? So let me feed it through, back through the bead here. Just be patient. This, um, this melon bead, this blue one is actually a little bit um, tight. The other one wasn't so tight, but that's okay. We made it through and we're gonna push this all the way down. You do not have to do this if you do not like doing it. But I, I feel like it gives it like more of a straight up kind of deal when you go to use it. So I'm gonna pull the crimp tube down. I'm gonna pull the rest of the wire through just so I have a little loop at the top. Just get my loop about where I want it and I'll take my crimp crimping pliers and again just kind of go about 70% and then twist and that's really helped me kind of create that really neat bead at the top there so from here I pull it super tight and I get the excess off all right I keep that for like dummy wires and so here's what we got so far here's our component we can go ahead and put the ear wire on the top clamp that down I'm just using my little pliers here have you ever had those days where you feel like your hands just aren't working <laughs> that's what it feels like today but I'm gonna take this little tassel and uh, put it at the bottom. And oh my gosh, is this not the cutest little earring for the Just Peachy kit? I just love how it brings that turquoise throughout all the way to the bottom so you get that pop of blue near the peach. And yeah, I think I love these so much. I wanna wear them today. So here are my simple little pair of earrings. I hope it has gotten you expired, inspired, not expired. Oh my goodness, I don't want you to expire. Inspire, inspired to uh, create with this kit. I believe there are some left, so I will link those down in the description box below. But I hope everyone is having a happy Sunday and I will see you again soon. I hope you're staying safe and well. Bye.